everybody at Terrell's with Creative Reads DIY and more. I've switched over from making wreaths and flower arrangements to doing MDF right now woodcut blanks. Michael, we start with a two by four sheet of MDF wood and I get the blank or the, the artist work and then I transfer it over onto the board and then Michael cuts it with a bandsaw and he um, sands the edges and so this is what we're going to be painting today it's a little bunny now for Christmas I got some really cool paint markers from my BFF so thank you Burr and I'm not seeing any comments on my iPad so I know it's lag I was seeing comments and closed captions when I started but Oh, hey, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe this is like cooler than I thought. Hi, Avanel. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Carol. Carol Ann. Hi, Sue. Hi, Kathy. Gosh, there are lots of people here if that's really true. I've never, I have never done live on Live Producer just through Facebook. I used to always use OBS. So thank you all for joining me. And we're going to get ready. I'm going to point the front camera down. And sorry you don't have the, my back close angle. Um, but we're going to get ready to paint this little the cute little thing. So let me point the camera down and see how close I can get. I hate technical issues. And that's what I actually uh, run Owl's Tech Talk. I have a private group. I combined with uh, CC. Uh, CC Steve's Reason Decor and hi Judy, Charlene, Tracy. Uh, we combine together and we have a private group. We meet on Thursdays for designs and on Fridays for tech help. I am basic tech help. I am not a business coach. I can help you set up your Facebook. I can self help you set up your YouTube. Um, I can work a little bit with Etsy, but I'm just there to help you get started. But Cece is a wonderful designer. She's great with florals. So we decided to go into this venture together. And she's on here moderating for me, I believe. I know, Judy, I'm telling you. I wouldn't recognize my back camera, then it recognized my back camera, then it wouldn't go over to Facebook. I tell you, it's just of course, it's my fault. I should be live more often. So, and I see you see my fat belly, but oh well, that's life. Um, hi Johnny, Vicki, and Carol. Thank you all so much for sprinkling the love. If you haven't followed my page, I would appreciate it. And if you haven't signed up for my YouTube page. I am over on YouTube. You can just type in the search bar, Creative Reads and Flowers. And if you would sign up and hit the notification bell, you'll know when I upload new content or go live there. Right now, I'm having a hard time going live on Facebook, so I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, actually today, I'm using mostly deco art paints. I do have a bottle of white Craft Smart because white is a hard commodity to come by. And I'm using the end up of a little bottle of uh, apple black. But we're going to make the bunny. He's basically going to be this um, buttercream color. He'll have some white on him. The Craft Smart white. And a carrot that's going to be canyon orange. And it's going to have some pink ears and highlights. And the top of the carrot is going to be this Hauser medium green. I guess, I don't know if y'all can see that. But then I have the black bottle of apple. So, and I'm sorry this isn't if it's not coming across closed caption. I usually have that set. But I will make sure when I move it to YouTube, I will move this to YouTube for replay. So anyway, we'll get started, and I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a quick white coat on the carrot because Canyon Orange has trouble showing up. 
and being prominent if you don't have white under it. And I don't know if you can see what I'm using for holding my paint, but um, I bought like a deviled egg tray that's plastic from the Dollar Tree. And then I just rinse it out. I didn't get the blue out very good from my last project, but let's see. And I'm just going to use an angle tip brush. It's kind of a small one. I don't have a real steady hand, so. And I'm just going to color in where the carrot's going to be. And I did take those fantastic markers that my, my buddy got me, and I've outlined what colors I want where. And that way, I just don't get confused. I don't have a color picture of this sitting around. Uh, I did go out on the internet and find the bunny with the carrot. And then brought it into a program. Made it into a PDF. Sized it, made it into a PDF, cut it out, and then traced it on the wood. And then, like I said, Michael does all the cutting. When we got the bandsaw, it was before I had my cataract surgery. My volume is messed up. Is it not picking up my volume from the camera? I'm about ready to call it a day. Count, stream, staff, follow where it is. Dashboard, system help. Oh, good Lord, You sound, I sound like I'm underwater, huh? We fixed that. I wish this would have streamed. Use camera. And it's not letting me into the camera. I'm trying to fix it. I'm talking really loud. It's not giving me the setup when I use camera. It's not letting me, allowing me to pick. Um, oh, good Lord. Okay, I see this. Audio. See, if it had just let me gone on OBS, I would be okay. Otherwise, I'm screaming at the camera. Because it will not let me get into the camera or default microphone or anything. It, it should be using my um, webcam pro. Well, I'm old too, but that has it's, it's my setup. Um, oh, Lord. What? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, this, I'll have to get on this. I promise I will do a better live at some point. Um... But for now, I'm just going to keep going. Um, and get this white put on here so it has a chance to dry before I put the orange on. So today, I'm participating in Hard Working's Mom Marathon. We're going all day through, I believe, 10 o'clock this evening. And Susan Skelton of AC Inspiration, I can't say the name, AC Inspiration Designs. I'll give you a link before the end of the video. Will be here after me creating um, something gorgeous. She creates something gorgeous every time I watch it. So y'all need to check, it, check her out. She's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for just a little bit, and I'm going to get out the painter's best friend, which is a baby wipe. You should always have a baby wipe. 
Now my idea is after I get the orange painted, I'll come back in these portions right here and do white, everything, maybe a white tail, everything else will be cream. And that's the buttercream that I talked about. We had a hard time as painters getting the white paint. So I picked up a couple of the large, um, these are eight ounce bottles of buttercream. Because I thought, well, buttercream is better than no white at all. Then I did get, was able to find some, some white. I'm really sorry about the sound, guys. It just really quirks me out that it wouldn't let me connect my OBS. I, I just... Maybe I shouldn't have tried to set an event. I don't know. But... I'll keep talking, and if you can hear me, great. And if you can't... Um... Maybe I can spread it over. Maybe I can up the audio. And I do paint the sides, guys, when it's hand cut like this. If it's laser cut, I won't, but I don't have a laser, so... When Michael cuts them out, which he does most of our blanks, I do paint the sides. Um, but anyway, I'll, I will move this to YouTube. However... I don't know how the sound will be. I'll try to, to fix it and fill more up. But I can only do so much. That's another service I offer is editing videos for YouTube. I go in and add your logo, put music on the beginning, go through your video, take out all the hellos to everybody because YouTube people don't like that. If you have any blank parts, they went to get something, I take those out, I edit the video basically, put it in the editor, swap it out, upload it to YouTube, then I take and put an end screen on it, I add cards to it for you, I add tags in your description if it's not there, and I publish it for you. So if you ever need any editing done, just Send me a message. You can send it through Creative Reason Flowers or Creative Reason DIY and more. If you put in HTTPS Facebook, it still comes up under Creative Reason Flowers and takes you to the Creative DIY and more. Tried to change my name. Facebook wouldn't play with me. They changed it on the page, but they didn't change the words. But anyway, so I do offer editing services on YouTube, or on videos. And I move a lot of videos from YouTube to uh, Etsy. I do that on Wondershare Filmora. It's a program that I use. I'm just catching these edges as I'm putting this buttercream on. You know, we had this happen the last time I, I did try to go live, I guess, for CC one night. And I had this same situation happen with the sound, and we thought we had it figured out. But it's not allowing me to play with the camera, so I have no idea what... It's like some mysterious speaker in my house is picking up. So I'm not really sure. The back camera isn't even on. And my headphones aren't hooked up, so I really have no other microphone other than the uh, Logitech. I don't think there's a built-in microphone on my computer. Maybe there is. I don't know. Now there's a lot of little detail on the face. I did put black marker on it so you can tell. But I'm going to paint over that, and hopefully I can still see it. And I'm not a very clean painter. I'll have paint all over everything by the time I'm done. Trust me. And I should get an apron, but I've got paint all over everything, so I just still have to have.
Someday I'll get a new wardrobe. I said the bunny, I, I don't like pure white bunnies because no bunny stays pure white even if they are white. So I figure my little guy's probably been out in the mud, so I'd rather have the buttercream color for his natural color. I could have done a brown, but eh. Make him a little brighter. Now this can be used for a wreath attachment, like a sign, or just along with a sign, it's nine, about nine inches high and about five and a half to six inches wide when it's finished. Most of mine are that size. I'm trying to get into the door hangers, which are 20 inches, but we're having some trouble finding the MDF wood at uh, Home Depot. So I may have to move back to a plywood. I don't care for plywood as much as I do um, the MDF, I think the MDF holds up better, but, um, going into classes and listening to Rachel talk, she has found a, a, a little bit thicker plywood that seems to hold up a little better, and I may try that, because, I, I don't know. To me, the plywood works easier in, in the outdoor conditions. So, and I'll, get, I'll grab the edges, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. We only have an hour. And so, I just may need a couple of coats. So I, I don't really want to mess with that right now. And, you know, painting is not a perfect process, so sometimes it'll look like you make a mistake, but when you get all done and all said and done, It'll come out fine. You just don't want it to look streaky. And I tend to work with a lot of brushes. I'm not a one brush gal. So I'll have a lot of brushes in my cup. And I tend to buy brushes very often because I tend to leave them in my cup, which isn't good for the brushes. But that's just me. Um, hi, Sherry. Sorry, just thought to look up. Um, yeah. I, I didn't even think to look up, you know. Thanks, Mel. Hi, Laura. How are you, Goose? Goose is busy redoing her home, so I haven't talked to her much lately. So I just hit that a couple times. I don't want to have to drag the blow dryer out while you guys are on because it gets really noisy. So I'm going to take this canyon, canyon orange now and put it on the carrot because I do want these spots here and here to be white. And I actually have new angle tip brushes that I ordered, but they have not made their way here yet. I did get my new filbert tips because I never really used filbert tips until just recently. So I wasn't very kind to them at all. 
And I do know that this orange will take um, at least two coats. So the way I get the, the wood bunny is I cut out I cut out the blank. I print this off and cut it out. Then I lay this on the wood and we transfer around it with a sharpie. And that's the line that Mike knows where to cut at. And I save printer ink. I don't print in color. So when I do the color, it's just whatever. I do have a couple of projects on the board that I want to get done. I've been waiting for uh, certain paint colors to come in. I went directly to Deco Art and ordered. And um, so I'm waiting for them to come in. I'm going to try to work with some metallics. I'm going to be doing a uh, smaller unicorn. Attachment. Sorry, sometimes I just have to think what I'm doing. Alright, while that's drying. Maybe we'll just add the white down here. And like I said, we will detail this when I'm done with, with like a black marker and white highlights and make it all pop. Right now it just looks like a mess on wood. And I'm sorry I'm not following the comments. They are coming up. Hey Susan, how are you doing? Are you ready to go on after me? They're going to be ready to see something really cool. But you got to remember when, when you're looking at these things and the different painters and stuff, all of this is all, all up to the artist's um, interpretation. And even if I make another one of these, it's not going to look exactly like this one because uh, I might be in a different mood. And I might just interpret it differently. So when I do list in my Etsy store, I do not list in larger quantities. I list one at a time. And when that one is gone, then I'll put, you know, I make more. But what you see in the pictures should be what you're getting. I, I don't use mock-ups or snip and sketches. I take a picture of the actual product and put it in my Etsy store. So what you're seeing is basically what you're getting. I feel that's best because I couldn't paint the same, the same way twice if I had to. I almost picked in the wrong plate. Yeah, I know, Denise. Um, I don't know what it is with Facebook. It, I had to go straight through Facebook. I could not go through OBS, and it won't recognize um, my camera. So I'm not positive why our sound is off. Um, it did this to me last time. I fixed it but I don't go live very often. So, it's doing... <laughs> it's doing it to me again. Sorry, I dipped in the butter cream. I wanted white. And I'll tell you why I wanted white. And I should have got it out. And I'm just going to blend the white end of the butter cream over here. Just, you know, just a slight difference. But what I was thinking is this is bubblegum pink. Hey, paint baby. Anyway, I'm just going to
dab my little brush here into just a little bit of the paint. And I'll go back over it white with white as it's coming out. But I just want the little teepees to have a little pink tinge to them. I'm not really blending the paint. However, I'm kind of putting white on it first so that the paint shows but yet isn't overbearing. I'll have so many paint brushes in front of me by the time I'm done, I won't know what I'm doing. I don't have a laser machine, so I cannot act. on the blanks. So I do either use, some, sometimes I use graphite paper and transfer the design. Sometimes I use chalk and hand draw the design. It depends on how intricate and why I'm looking for at the time. But, it's just a hit, the, a hit or miss game. And this is what's good about having um, a baby white hand because I just splattered. White paint all up there where I didn't want it. I think this is probably dry enough. I'm going to go back and do a second coat of orange. Right now it's looking pretty streaky. I, I could use a bigger brush and that would help with the streakiness, but like I said, I get a little wild with the eyes of that eye. And this spot right here is where the bunny has bit the carrot. Has bit the carrot. Got a little excited with the orange. Alright. We'll let that coat dry, and while we let that coat dry, I think I can figure out which one brush I use with this. I'm going to paint the inside of the bunny ears pink. And it'll take a couple of hits also to get the color I actually want. But these are all handmade. Like I said, Michael cuts them. I paint them. Michael ships them. Well, I get them ready for shipping and then he takes them to the post office. Kind of a team effort. He won't let me use the bandsaw, even though I got my cataracts done. He still won't show me how to use it. Maybe he'll think I don't need him. I don't know. And the last color I'm going to add in is, um, besides the black is medium hauser green and I'm going to do that on the top of the carrot. Oh my. Big thing to do. I usually have an extra light set up but I didn't want to mess up the, the video. Bad enough having the audio messed up. I like the, the Hauser green. There's a light, a dark, and a medium. 
medium is probably my most preferred when it comes to greenery items. You can shade with the dark and the light. But, and it covers good with about one coat. I usually do double coat everything. I'm not good at staying in the line, so I'm not a good paint my number person. I have to do some fixing and touching. You see a little spot that I was thinking it was weak, but for reals, it's um, part of the cheek. I also bought these really cool things that are, um, you can make your own paint pens. And you put your own paint in them so they're any color you want to touch up. Look how pretty cool. Who needs another coat of buttercream? amazing how fast this paint dries sometimes. I don't know that the weather is affecting it today. I'm not sure. It is cold outside. We were in a wick. Um, but blizzard warning all day yesterday. So that was fun. Not so much snow as 70 mile per hour winds. So driving conditions are just like they were like stay in if you don't have to go out. Thank goodness we don't have to walk today and shovel. Because uh, Mike and I are getting old. And I don't like that shovel. Can't wait to move where it's a little bit warmer. And we might not have as much snow on that. And that'll be coming up soon, but I don't know how soon. I'm waiting on them getting the vaccine for the coronavirus. If all goes well and I get my vaccine, I will be going to the retreat. I'm thinking they're about opening up from, from my conditions and everything, but it's very hard to tell. It's hard to, to figure out the state website, so... I mostly talk to the pharmacy because they seem to have more information than the doctors. They should be coming soon. I can't wait. And as long as I have both shots, you know, in a good number of time, then I will be headed out to Nashville. Join all my buddies to the research team. We had a real, a real good time in um, Myrtle Beach last year. I kind of made a little vacation out of it along that. Went to the Sims show, then spent a few days on South Myrtle Beach, and then went over to the retreat in North Myrtle Beach. And so there were, there were seven of us that stayed over in South Myrtle Beach, and it was really fun. I never go on a vacation without Mike, so... That was pretty, pretty cool. I got a little homesick and lost, but, eh, what can you say? I don't know why those are that. Ryder must have been playing in my paint presses because I looked for the tip. I looked for the tip of the paintbrush. Sorry. Uh, and these were turned upside down, so I, I saw the end. There's no rhyme or reason. I can't keep them in numerical order. I wish I could. I tried. But that just doesn't seem to work out. And when Ryder comes over, he likes to paint, so... We threw out a whole bunch of paint brushes the last time he was here over the weekend. 
Hey, I'm nice. Anyway, I forgot. I forgot I got a screen that the phantom, uh, the phantom microphone is on. And you know, as soon as I get off of here, we'll figure it out. But it is not allowing me on the dashboard to just check again. It's not allowing me to, to pick any speaker up. It just automatically takes the, the camera off totally. Because I knew that that happened the last time. So, I don't know. I'll, go, I'll start going live more and uh, I'll figure this out. I promise. But I don't have a steady of hand as some of the younger painters. So we have to do it two or three times. And then thank goodness for outlines and highlights. Because that's what makes the shaky hand better. Also, if you do see my designs with writing on them, I tend to do those in acrylic or in uh, vinyl. you'll get vinyl lettering and actually the vinyl I use the very thin vinyl that's a uh, heat transfer vinyl and um, it kind of melts into the wood so you really can't even tell it's not painted and then I seal I do seal every creation I make with Rust-Oleum at least 2x or uh, UV sealant and it helps protect them and keep them from fading now, I had uh, made Christmas decorations the first, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before, when I first started, and we made those, that's why I don't like the, the plywood. We had made those out of plywood, and they did work a little bit, but their color was still good. Now, this year, my daughter, who moved out last February, took them with her, because we thought maybe we would be moving soon, and but then we didn't. And, um, she put them out in her front yard. So they made it through two seasons, so I guess that's not bad. You don't want them to last too many seasons if you make them, because you want the people to come back. And, um, you know, buy more. It's kind of like with your wreaths. You don't want them to last for an eternity. You want the people to come back and buy more wreaths from them. So, I do have um, items to make wreaths with. It's just that Michael has them all boxed up and sealed. And I wanted, like, some um, ribbon. And he gave me a hard time because I was trying to unbox the ribbon, so. All right, let's paint these little, this little guy's black eyes. I am... On this, I'm using a filbert tip brush because it helps you get round the eyes. And it helps you make a circular line or, you know. There are times I've used paint pens to do the eyes, but I've kind of graduated from that now. I am going to use a paint pen to highlight him and, um, put his eyelashes and things back on because I'm just not that good at a liner brush. Liner brush, you have very little um, forgiveness. 
And if you push too hard, the wine gets too thick. If you don't push hard enough, you don't get any paint. And if your hand wiggles, you have a wiggle line. Hey, Don, how are you? It's funny, my iPad's not showing any comments, but the comments are showing on the, the live, uh, live stream. That's very funny to me. This is, like, way different. I'm going to try to get the little nose. I don't know. Kind of little. Um, this is way different than the way Facebook used to be when I used to go live all the time. So... I am known more for being behind the curtain as to being in front of it. I like to call myself like the wizard of the Wizard of Oz. Don't look at the man behind the curtain. Don't lay your paintbrush with black paint down on your white. Anyway, um... I probably could have colored that in with each hairline. Looks like a hair of my paintbrush thing. Okay, I gotta get real close to this. Sorry guys. They can only do so much when they do cataract surgery, so I'm very picky. I try not to be like perfection, but I'm kind of picky when, like, my, my colors splatter. I don't like that. Alright, I haven't really been watching comments. Oh, I wanted to go to Carolina. Well, actually, I didn't buy anything last year from Carolina Pottery when we went. To me, it's kind of like um, what I have here is old-time pottery. might be a little bigger, but I have a really good one in um, Independence down by Kansas City. So I always go there. They have a, a ton of mesh and a ton of ribbon and a ton of flowers. So that's my closest thing to buy. So does anybody have any questions while I'm kind of waiting for this to dry a little bit? Hi Judy Judy. You got to see me paint girlfriend. Can't hear me. But you got to see me paint. I'm sorry the sound is messed up. I I will, the next time I go live, I'm going to figure this out. Now I'm on a mission. It's been a hard couple of days. You know, we started yesterday morning with all the cubbies starting their lives. Um, my partner Cece went last night at 9 and I moderated. So I was kind of like off and on the computer all day and getting things set up. And then we went on this morning, we started again, I don't remember if it was a 9 or 10. And uh, my friend Debbie from AAE Designs by Debbie was on at, I get confused because I'm in a different time zone. She was on at 1 and um, I moderated for her. It was her very first live, I was very, very proud of her. Yes, and Susan from AC Inspired Reefs is next. And while I'm taking a little break here before I start to outline real quick. Oh, I forgot I shut down my computer. Sorry, guys. My computer, I was trying really hard. I want to give you Susan's link to her webpage. And that's who, that's who you can go see next. That's Susan of AC Inspired Reefs. She will be next, and she will create something fantastic. Alright. I'm going to see if this, my little markers will work. These are water-based, where pasta pens are more um, oil-based, and they'll drag in the... Um, when you go to see them. 
If you don't spray seal them, they will drag. And I don't like drag, and I can't use that one because it's white. Silly me! That one looks brown. Orange. What happens when you get a bunch of them? Might have to just use the pasta then because I see everything but the black one. So I'm going to take my smallest pasta pin. This must be it. Oh, this says this is the five. What's this one? This is the three. They have three, five, and seven, I think. And once you get the guy all painted, and I will make sure that he's painted the way I want, or I'll go be going back and touching up. I'm just going to make my outlines and bring his little distinctive marks back. And these were the ones that, I, you know, I'm going by the ones that I had put on in the beginning. And it just kind of ties this all together and gives you the idea of the shapes. Of course, I didn't do any outlining because that would have been silly, but... I'm trying not to get my head in your way because I can't... But I gotta get my... I think there was a little... Darn it. And I just had that out too. Um, and I know I don't have much time, so. What's this one? Let's see what this little guy does. Because there's zigzags right here, and it's to give you the illusion that he's furry, you know? And then... Outline the bite of the carrot. And this is where my shaky hand gets me in trouble. But as you can see, as I'm highlighting him, becomes more to life. Now, I, I used to not, not highlight outline. I used to not highlight at all. Um, I have very, a lot of creations that I never highlighted on. And then I got into, got into trying to start to shade. I do like shading, but sometimes, you know, it's just, they're simple designs. I do sell my smaller attachments for $15. I believe in my Etsy store that does include shipping. But I'm not positive. We had discussed changing it from free shipping to calculated shipping, but I believe I left the signs for free shipping. So that may change. I know the most that they would be if you do pay shipping though is twenty three most shipping is eight dollars. Unless you get the big ones and the big ones cost more money because they take more wood, more paint, 
and more time, and then more for shipping. Maybe we try to ship in mylar bags, we bubble wrap, and um, saran wrap, and then put in mylar bags. Well, actually, I think we use the bubble envelope the last time. Judy, did I use a bubble envelope for yours? Okay. Gotta, gotta get his eyebrows on. And his eyelashes. I promise, Susan, I'm almost done. probably be going and doing some touch and that, but basically, there you go. Uh, I gotta look at, there we go. There he is. And like I said, you can attach this to your wreath. You can use it as a sign. You can use it as just an attachment to go along with the sign. Or um, you can even hang it on a wall. If you want anything you don't see, let us know. I can find um, blanks, and uh, then we'll paint it for you. I, I did make a very large 20-inch um, yellow rose. I don't know if it's still on my page or not. But thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Watch the rest of the marathon. Join us again tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.